Carlos with Gas Mask Pro. I'm here to talk to you guys about the M15 gas mask. It's an Israeli gas mask um, that's perfect for any type of uh, gas, whether it be nuclear, biological, chemical, or even now with the coronavirus going on, it also prevents you from getting that. So the M15 gas mask comes packaged like so. Uh, it has a twist off little, I don't know, little string here. Um, comes in the bag. It comes with a filter and a straw. Uh, the filter is a 40 millimeter Israeli uh, NATO filter, which is um, included basically on all our gas masks. Um, you basically unstrap these straps here by unlocking them like so. Uh, this would be the straw that connects to the side port here, um, which is good for connecting it to a canteen. Um, it's an optional uh, type of uh, addition to the gas mask. Uh, and this is the 40 millimeter needle filter that it comes with. Uh, now the M15 has the adjustable straps on the back. Um, it's five in total. The top one you don't really have to mess around with. It's kind of just a set, um, uh, a set adjustment. Uh, the four additional ones you have on the sides here, you do kind of have to adjust obviously uh, according to your face. Uh, size. Um, to adjust them, you just pull this. It'll give you the tightness that you need on each one. To uh, loosen it up a little, you just pull this back, back down uh, and pull down on the opposite um, side of the uh, um, of the strap there, and it'll uh, loosen it up a little. So to put it on, you kind of just start from the bottom of the mask, top of your face, like so. Now to get the uh, straps adjusted, I have a pretty big face, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, so you, it's a kind of already adjusted for me, but I just wanna make sure it's a little tighter. So I'm just gonna pull these out, make sure they're snug in. Same thing for the bottom ones. And that'll give you the tightness that you need to create that uh, seal of air around your face. Now you wanna make sure it's obviously tight as can be. Uh, you also wanna do a positive air pressure check so the way you do that is you put your hand over the uh, filter opening here. Uh, you kind of breathe in, make sure the face, uh, face mask collapses. If it does, that means basically it's all air sealed tight around your now, face. Now another thing you guys might, might want to take into account is uh, beard is also an issue. Um, you don't want to have too long of a beard. I'm not a good example of that. Um, you want to have it nicely trimmed so that you can get an air seal around your face. That way you can get the maximum level of protection with the gas mask on. So you guys might want to make sure you have that uh, nicely trimmed there. Uh, to get the filter onto the mask, uh, you just kind of, um, it has seals here, stickers, and a screw on cap. You want to break this off by pulling this plastic part here, and then you just unscrew the cap as so to put it onto the gas mask you want to screw it on counterclockwise clockwise if you're looking through the video you want to make sure you get that tight and that's how you have it on now again the gas mask also comes with its drinking port straw uh it comes in this little bag here you just kind of break that open again it is a screw on uh straw it goes on the side right here. Same thing, same concept. You just have the screw on cap. You screw this on. And you hook that up to a canteen. So this all comes included with the uh, M15 gas mask. Another thing I wanted to touch base on was the uh, filter itself. Um, a lot of people always ask if it has asbestos in it, which it does not. It's actually activated charcoal, which is what filters out the chemical agents, uh, giving you that clean air. Um, so again, it does not contain asbestos, so that's out of the question, uh, just to give you guys some peace of mind there. Um, so to place the order on your M15 gas mask, you could just log into gasmaskpro.com. Um, place your order there. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions on the masks themselves, you can always reach out to us by emailing us, uh, giving us a call, or maybe even leaving a comment in the comment section. Um, we would like for you to also subscribe to our channel. Uh, there's a lot more videos coming soon your way, so that way um, 
you know, you can see what, what else we have to offer, um, any gas mess tutorials that you may have questions on. Um, you can also view them there soon to come as well. Um, and uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching.